Hi everyone, welcome to the Ramadan vlog of this year and I hope you all are doing well and staying healthy. This video is as usual the day before and the first day of Ramadan. Being pregnant it isn't easy to do a lot of tasks but Ramadan is always special. I do have help of course but I did want to do a bit of preparation so it's easy for me and her as she too is fasting. Now if you have been watching my Ramadan vlogs for years, you will know about the warm semolina milk we drink at the time of iftar and I will need semolina in large amounts. So to avoid getting it spoiled, I am roasting it. After the semolina is cooled down, transfer to a big jar and place that on the countertop because I will need this every day in this holy month. Similarly, something that I usually do but I guess I haven't shown it in any Ramadan vlogs. It's to powder sugar. This is done because when used in juices or any drinks, the dissolving time is much faster. This again will go in another big jar and on the countertop. Roasted coconut is mandatory for our curries and preparing it in large quantity saves a lot of time. Here I have used 3 big bags of grated coconut, added that to a pan along with curry leaves, fennel seeds, turmeric powder for color and some coconut oil. I later felt I should have used an iron karai which enhances the flavor too. Had some milk that's expired for two days and I still didn't want to throw it away. So I added that to a saucepan along with some more fresh milk. I kept that for boiling. Just when this reached the boiling point, I added some vinegar and salt. This is to curdle the milk and again salt for flavor. Then I strained which I forgot to take on camera. Here are some olives and jalapenos. I'll show you a very tasty samosa filling from all of this. Take the cheese that was formed from the milk, add that into a bowl. This was still warm so I spread it to cool down. After this was cooled down, 
I added a teaspoon of red chilli flakes, half teaspoon cumin powder, some dried herbs like parsley, basil and mint. Then goes in the olives and jalapenos. Finally, some mozzarella cheese. I haven't added any salt because almost everything in this has an amount of salt. The olives, jalapenos and the homemade cheese as well. So more wasn't needed. This filling is done. And here the grated coconut is also roasted which I'll turn off the flame and let it completely cool. I'm filling out the samosa sheets. I was sure I would have enough for two days, so I stored it in the Ziploc bag and placed it in the freezer. Some of you had asked me how I store the rest of the samosa sheets. I normally completely use it by filling something or the other so that I don't have to restore the sheets alone. Here I'm filling salted cheese and making rolls. If at all I have nothing to fill and the samosa sheets are left over, I will place those sheets back in its cover and then cling wrap them so that it doesn't go dry. Then place back in the freezer. We had a late and a bit heavy dinner that day, so for Suhoor went for something healthy and light on the tummy, yet filling too. The jeera rice gruel is something we have during Ramadan and it's very healthy too. I have already done a video on this long back. I used just one cup which was enough for all of us. Washed and added enough amount of water along with some turmeric, that's just for a colour. Blend one cup grated coconut some shallot and a teaspoon of cumin seeds along with some warm water. Once the rice is cooked well, add the blended mixture along with some more warm water. Now this dish has a lot of versions. This is how I have been drinking from my childhood. So this is my mom's preparation and I prepare this even now. The tempering is done with fried onion or shallots in some ghee. It's not that I had forgotten about the garlic and ginger that I had peeled to make a paste. I was so tired from the previous day's work in the kitchen that I skipped to do this in the morning. 
I have shown this again long back in a Ramadan preparation video, preparing ginger paste, garlic paste and green chilli paste. And I don't do this every time, it's just for Ramadan to save some time. I wash these and pat dry, then blend to a paste along with some salt and oil which acts as a preservative. And these are ready. For the semolina milk, as the milk I'm using here is quite thick, I'm not using half half. I'm preparing four cups, so using two and a half cups of water and one and a half cups of milk. It depends on the quality of milk used. For some other brands, I would prefer using half water and half milk. As usual, we love rice rotis for Ramadan and to have it with, I'm preparing chicken curry, a very simple one that goes well with it. Sauteing onion along with potatoes in hot coffee oil. Now for the measurement for the rava or the semolina for this drink is one spoon per cup so I added four spoons add half a teaspoon of salt and balance it all cook the semolina stirring occasionally and make sure there are no lumps of it When the onion is soft, add the chicken pieces and cook till pale color. That's sugar, one spoon per cup again. This is done. Adding ginger garlic and green chilli paste, 1 tablespoon each of it. Cook till the raw smell goes. Then add half teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder, half teaspoon cumin powder and 2 teaspoon red chilli powder. Mix everything well for a minute. Then goes into medium tomatoes, that's chopped. Mix well and when the tomatoes are a bit soft, add 1 or 2 cups of hot water. Cover and cook till the potatoes are done. Blend the roasted coconut with some warm water. Add the mix to the pot along with some more warm water, some salt, cover and let this boil for a minute. That's tempering the semolina milk with some shallots and cashews fried in ghee. It was almost time for ifta, so getting the table ready for it.
Tempering the curry is optional but it adds flavor. So that is all for how and what I prepared for first day of Ramadan. Do share how it went for you and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.